guys, After Show Reacts here, and today I'm going to be reacting to some more Ally McBeal. This is season two, episode 14, so let's get into it. Ling went to law school. She was editor of Law Review at Cornell. Ling I still don't know why she did that. You didn't know this? But as for the laws on sexual harassment in general, stupid. They're dumb. And if you happen to be a juror sitting on this case, here's your opportunity to say so. Don't you give in to the stupidity. Step in and rule for our clients. Send a message that these laws have gone too far. You can't have direct or indirect contact with the jury. You, you forget about that little rule? As if I care. Richard. No, there's a lot of money at stake here, is there not? Yes. Well, here's a little something about me you need to know. When the stakes are high enough, I will always speak my conscience. Myra's meeting us down there, you said? Said. We should win this. That's a lot. Greg, what, what are you... I decided to stretch Valentine's into two days this year. <laughs> well, Joe. I... Oh, no, not the baby! <laughs> I could really get used to this. Why don't you, then? Billy, how about you don't watch these two make out? It's a bit weird. It's not that you wouldn't be an asset. Then what is it? Well, I'm just not really looking to take on another body right now. But if I were, oh, she yours, wants to do law again. I welcome you with an outstretched. Richard, I really enjoyed being a lawyer last week again, and the people here, I just get along with them so well. Ah, uh, you it do not. Organic. <laughs> organic. You and the people here. Yes, I see that. It would mean a lot of money for the firm. Well, I don't think any of us imagine this much heat for what, uh, well, I'm sure we can all agree is a pretty ridiculous matter. You say that with a twinkle. This isn't funny to our clients. They lost their jobs. We're upping our offer to 125 apiece. Not enough. How many attorneys do you see in this room? There's Too a many? reason Cobb Company has hired an army. They're willing to spend whatever it takes to squash this. Fine. Tell them to spend two million. And we settle. Could I share a thought off the record? Please. Two young lawyers, reporters asking you questions. Your profile's never been higher. Settle out, the luster lives. Get embarrassed in the course of a trial, your stock plunges. If we lose, one could say, well, we were outmanned. Fortune 500 company, seven lawyers arguing the politically correct merits du jour. The odds are certainly in your favor. A loss would hardly be a blemish to me. But if you lose, well, imagine. And here's an inside tip which I share with you only because I too care. You will lose. And look at my face as I tell you this because I promise when the jury reads that verdict, I will be looking at all of yours. Well, I guess we have a fight. And they're the pretty good at winning. Valid. It says what it says. Life estate to Myra Jacobs so long as she doesn't remarry. She remarried. And that restriction is against public policy. Restrictions against remarriage aren't automatically invalid. We only strike them down if the intent is punitive. Do you have any evidence that the decedent was trying to punish your client? No. Then where's your case? Your Honor, I... The restriction is de facto punitive. I don't care de facto. I see no motive. The trust stands. Valid as written. We'd been together for about three and a half months when Mr. Forsley called us both into his office. He'd heard that Callie and I were seeing each other. He confronted us about the relationship. We admitted it. Upon which he discharged us. Cobb Company has a strict policy regarding inner office dating, does it not? Yes, which is ludicrous. And could you give us your understanding of this uh, ludicrous policy? It's called date and tell. If you're having a relationship, you're supposed to disclose it. It's that simple? No, it gets even more absurd. Once you disclose it, you're required to sign what basically amounts to a love contract. And do you have an understanding of the purpose of this contract? The purpose is to insulate the company against any sexual harassment claims that could possibly arise out of that relationship. When you chose not to reveal your relationship with Callie Horn, you knew you were violating office sexual harassment policy, didn't you? 
Yes. Thank you, sir. But why <laughs> not just tell and sign this love contract? I found it demeaning. It's a violation of individual privacy. Could you describe your feelings for Miss Horn? I love her. You love her? Well, that must have just broken all sorts of rules. Objection. You can't go around having people loving one another. Objection. Mr. Cage. I'm sorry if I seem inappropriate with my condemnation for the defendant's position. It's just that sometimes I get overwhelmed by common sense. Objection. Counsel. Your Honor, for the record, the other six lawyers did not object. Objection. I stand corrected. Good Valentine's dinner last night? What's it got to do with you? You were unprepared. You walked into court today assuming an easy victory. You didn't do the legwork. You were unprofessional to the point of malpractice. And since I was second chair, that performance I mean, was I don't a reflection have any proof of this, so I don't agree. Let that happen again. Hold on. I'm fucking yell at her. I don't work. Who do you think you are? And even if I did, nobody talks to me like that. It's yeah. time somebody should. My research was current. Fuck you! That judge's ruling was more a product of his flaring hemorrhoids than it was of my performance. And because it bears repeating, don't you ever speak to me like that again. What will you do, Allie? Complain? Gee, that's a novel course of action. What the fuck is wrong with you? Screw you, Billy. Hey, guys. Glad you're all here. Good news. Ling's decided to come aboard of counsel. You're, you're, you're hiring her? Yes. Richard, how can you hire her to work here? Uh, she licked my finger. I'm human. Asset. Firm. Bygones. <laughs> it's the law that's perverse. Our policy is a byproduct. Does the law preclude two employees hugging each other hello or goodbye? No. But your policy does. Yes, because we have no way of knowing whether the hugs are welcome or not. Does the law preclude well, two people consent. talking about sexual activity? When it amounts to harassment, yes, it does. Does your policy wait for it to amount to harassment? No. As a prophylactic, we cut off all sex talk, period. The line is so easily crossed, we feel an absolute ban makes sense. Anyone reading the Kenneth Star report would be sanctioned. That's an easy one. But that was national news. If people talk about Clinton and Monica Lewinsky, they've run afoul of your sexual harassment policy? As silly as it sounds, conversation about national news can amount to sexual harassment under today's laws. And if it means being silly to safeguard against liability, you'll be silly. What, what do you want from me? We want you to tell Richard no. You're an I, equal partner. I won't tell him no. Come on, John. At some point, you can stand up and assert yourself. I'm standing up now to you. Look. She, she's up counsel. She only gets paid on cases she brings in. She basically wants to supervise the legal infrastructure handling her corporate ventures, which are substantial. This will bring in a lot of business for the firm. It'll be good for all of us. But mostly you. Here's a flash, Billy. It's my firm. Yeah. Stop fucking Seven. overstepping. Kelly, we're losing. I am sorry I lost my temper, but I was upset. It is nothing personal. Good. Nothing oh, get personal. get over it. It's just the way I want it. Billy, take you don't just yell at someone because you're now. upset. Like, we need to go someplace don't and talk. You are not my boss. Excuse. I am not under you. I never you will be, be under, under you. Because that's what's about to happen. If she brings in all her corporate ventures, she will become, in effect, our biggest client. Talk I'll be to under Richard. Link. She's this... already got Richard and John and Nell. It's you, me, and Georgia. Georgia, the balance of power is changing. Ali, we need to go someplace and talk. No. I'm sorry if you're taking flack. I do believe it's good for the firm, otherwise I wouldn't have hired you. Notwithstanding the fact I'd do almost anything to introduce my penis to the interview. You know, if the others are mean to you, let me know. I'll deal with it. Have you ever had a hair tickle? I gave great hair. Leah, I don't know what you're talking about, though. I am getting aroused. Maybe tomorrow I'll give you a little treat. Any particular problem with... She does have a way of speaking no. that's very... I need a candle. I've got one. See for yourself. <laughs> Funny boy. Sexy. Tomorrow. She's got like a sexy tone, I think. We've got two senior partners basically in the respective palms of Ling and Nell. Ling upsets the balance to the extent that her business squeezes out old business in Alley. If she becomes in charge, she'll be able to trump Richard and John. So what do we do? I don't know, but we're about to lose everything that I think you're overreacting. Yeah, you are. When I see you with Greg, when I see you. I love Georgia, 
And I've been able to do a damn good job of denying the truth. Never loved anybody like I loved and still love you. Well, at least he's being honest with his feelings. When I saw you two kissing this morning. Now you need to be honest with your feelings I mean, with your wife. It's just screamed. You need to have this conversation with your wife. Look, I understand. You have longing feelings for your ex-girlfriend. Cool. You've acknowledged it now. The correct thing to do now, tell your wife. You only- I feel like he only wants her because she's not available. It's like he can't allow her to move on. And it's kind of unfair. Man, fuck Billy. Screw him, man. You had your chance and you left her. How do you feel? I think I'd like to kill him. I've been alone a long time and it's been quality time loneliness. And now when I finally find somebody, he- this was a selfish thing for him to do. It Allie, you're telling me what you think. How do you feel? Let's start with Greg. Quick, off the top of your head, how do you feel about Greg? Love him. How do you feel about Billy? Love, Love. him. I don't know what the hell you see in Billy. But I see what you see in Joe West. Billy told me about your little talk. He did? Cool. Um, I feel like, say? no. That we may need to form an alliance, given Ling coming to the firm. <sighs> yeah, you fucking, as if he would tell her. <laughs> He's a fucking oh, scumbag. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that that's something that we should consider. <laughs> I missed you last night. Do you realize that was the first night in about three weeks that we didn't see each other? Huh? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't yeah, do this to Joe. Yeah, it, was, it was a tough night. You really okay? Yeah. I'm fine. <sighs> First draft? Uh, I'll be ready. Look, uh, maybe I can get them back up to 100. I know it's a long shot, but... You're a beautiful woman, Nell. I know it goes without saying, but the law shouldn't require it to go unsaid. I'm falling in love with Greg. He he's the greatest guy I, I could I could Yes! And he knows the flash! <sighs> but when Billy Don't you wanna learn who the flash is? I feel like we're playing this stupid game. Pretending not to be what we both know we are. Which is meant for each other. There's one person for every person i well, can't share what if it's true do you think billy wants to get back with you i don't know and one of the reasons i don't know is because i won't let myself go there because i'm terrified that the answer could be yes and i'm more terrified he let you go is he's fucking lost he me. To me about matt billy's a guy billy's a guy but he's go not understand side. that like he ditched you. You deserve better than that. I couldn't do it to Georgia. He chose someone else over you. Georgia, a favor. <laughs> Not that she see it that way, but <laughs> if if they had kids, it'd be different. I'd jump on your head. Right now, the mistake you two have made, it can still be corrected. You think you're back then? You got so many No. Choices. He only wants you because you're taken. God. He's been taken this whole time. Fucking unfair. Do you not know how to give her time and space, mate? I had no right to drop what I dropped on you. Oh, well, um, yeah. When Richard hired Lang, I immediately sat down and planned my leaving. That's when it hit me like a bomb. The idea.
idea of not seeing you every day. I then thought, I'll get help. Go for therapy or something. Tell your wife! I'm trying to cure myself of the best thing I've ever known. See my co-counsel over there? She and I dated. Things didn't work out, and now, after, we still have to work side by side. And yes, it can get awkward. Had I not dated her, I'd have missed out on that little uh, flutter I felt in my stomach when I held her hand. I may have tried to repress the high I got at the first hint of flirtation, the euphoria when I kissed her, the pang of, well, pain, when it became clear it wasn't meant to be. You know, these are just, these are life moments that happen. Three quarters of every waking hour is spent at the workplace. And their policies are trying to legislate against smiling, hugging, complimenting somebody on their attire. They're trying to ban the possibility of finding love there. Have we all gone mad? Do you know how hard it is to find love, period? You take away the workplace, that leaves, well, let's say bars, parties, the gym. Yeah, all these other artificial venues where people only reveal the, the, the pina colada sides of themselves. Despite what these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven men claim, the law does not say you can't or shouldn't date people at work. The law merely requires that people behave like adults. Now, their policies assume you can't. They're all about avoiding liability. And I'll tell you, that's sad. Now, of course, there's oppression sometimes. There's real harassment. There's real victims. And when it happens, the guilty should be held accountable. But to ban the flirt and the smile and the date and the possibility of discovering somebody to spend the rest of your life with? Say it with me. Silly. Silly. Mr. Cage, I'm not amused. Well, I apologize. But those people worked hard for that company, and they were fired for wanting to keep their private lives private. They lost everything. No. None of us should be amused. No doubt these rules seem crazy. But when you're one of those companies that are paying millions and millions of dollars in judgments, suddenly they do make sense. And if you don't like it, don't work there. Go somewhere else. The plaintiffs. I mean, you guys have a really high unemployment rate. With full knowledge America? of the rules, they just broke them. We find in favor of the plaintiffs. Poughkeepsie. And we order the defendant to pay damages in the amount of nine hundred and forty-two thousand dollars. Oh. They win. Now give him a good stare down. Something's uh, come up. I bet. I guess you better slow your Mustang down. Just ride around Sally. Ride, Sally, ride. Said all you want to do is ride I can't imagine the hair Sally. thing would be exciting. Everything else would be. Yeah. Probably. Well, you got a date. Bye. Big date, huh? I really like him, Billy. What happened? You left. You tell me. Just never figured you could meet the person of your dreams at age eight. Yet you got married to somebody else. How's about you don't? Just remember See the marketplace in old This chat has a lot of cheating in it. Oh my god. Joe's 
on his way. Why would you do this? Remember what you were saying about fucking Renee a couple episodes ago? Remember how you judged her? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I am disappointed because Billy is a fucking twat. <laughs> uh, alrighty -er. Um, well, that was Ally McBeal, season two, episode... I don't know. What was it? 14, 13, 14. Who wanted this? Please tell me. Which one of you thought, I want these two together? Who thought Billy was a good guy? Ali ain't so good right here either. Man. Georgia deserves better. At least she resisted. Uh, alrighty here. Well, that was an episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, uh, uh.